The best thing about this year's camo grind is there is no level lock behind any of the camo challenges, which means you can jump right in and start the camo grind. Now, the bad news is just about every single weapon in the game, you need to get 100 headshots. Luckily for assault rifles, it's a pretty easy challenge to get done. All you got to do is post up, find good spots to sit. Then you move on to these special camos. Now, the nice thing about these special camos is they are not locked behind each other, which means you can just go ahead and work toward both of them at the same time. Now, these two right here are pretty self-explanatory kills after sprinting as well as taking no damage now moving on to gold after that all you have to do is get 10 double kills and then you are good to go moving on to the aims 85 once again we have our 100 headshots to get through to get all the military camos and then special camos on the aims you just got to get 30 kills once again with no damage and then the second one here is you got to get two kills without reloading 10 times pretty self-explanatory you just got to not reload your mag between getting two kills in the same life gold challenge is get 10 double kills or better moving on to the third ar we get the gpr 91 we're going to go ahead and get our 100 headshots knocked out. Special camos, 30 kills shortly after sprinting, and then 50 kills while moving. So as long as you're moving your left stick and then double kills. For the fourth AR, we have the Model L. Once again, your 100 headshots get knocked out. Special camos is 50 eliminations with the Enforcer Combat Specialty active. What this means is you're going to go ahead and make sure you have all red perks equipped, and then it'll automatically put on the Enforcer Specialty for you. So as long as that is equipped, second one we have for this one is 50 kills with a suppressor so as long as you got a suppressor equipped it'll count toward those 50 as well so once again you can knock these both out at the same time and then you get your double kills for gold moving on to the fifth ar we have the goblin mk2 this is the only ar that is not fully auto it is a semi-auto so it's not even a burst it's a semi-auto ar it's kind of annoying but it hits like a truck once again you get your headshots knocked out then you get a kill with taking no damage 30 times once again this one you got to get 20 kills with an under barrel attachment which means you actually have to use the noob tube you can't just have it equipped and shoot the gun like you could in previous cards that does not work this year you got to actually shoot the grenade launcher and get kills with it but luckily the grenade launcher is pretty op in this game so and then once again get your double kills for gold moving on to the ak-74 once again 100 headshots boom special camos 50 elims using the strategic combat specialty so going back to what i said before about the perks this time you just got to put all green perks on and it'll give you strategic and then once again you have to get 20 underbarrel launcher kills get those done then get your 10 double kills done for the seventh and final ar in the game we have the as val for this once again we have 100 headshots followed by 50 elims with the recon combat specialty this is once again the same thing except you're going to run all the blue perks to get recon and then 30 hip fire kills now for this one i kind of built the gun uh, as close to an smg as you as i could to get your hip fire kills in and then once again you get your 10 double kills for gold and then that is all of the gold challenges for assault rifle now for your diamond challenges on the assault rifles all you have to do is get three kills without dying 10 times and it is the same challenge for all of the ars pretty self-explanatory they don't have to be triple kills as in really quick together they just have to be three kills without dying in the same life 10 times super super easy to do now what i'm going to recommend to you guys is that you play the face off playlist this is a 6v6 mode on very tiny maps it makes it a lot easier to get quicker action and more headshots which is most of what this camo grind is is just grinding on headshots you can do it in core or hardcore whatever floats your boat that's pretty much all i got for you guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you smack that like button as i get the rest of these weapons diamond i'll be putting out more videos with the rest of the weapon categories for you guys so be on the lookout for that